Hello! Welcome back to more Let's Play Pools Golds. Here's another battle. Hopip evolves into Breloom, right? Hopip evolves into... What was it called? No, uh, Skiploom... Then Breloom, right? Jumpluff. Jumpluff, oh. Uh, what evolves into... Oh, it's the little other Trish. mushroom. Yeah. Yeah. I recall Whoopers being on this route. Were they on this route? I don't remember. I think this is where you would first find Whooper. But for all we know in this game, Whooper's gonna look like the Grim Reaper. <laughs> Good. That's a great ball. <laughs> oh. Oh. Time for that Togepi. It looks like a sunny side up egg. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> An egg burst out of the egg. It's just a dinosaur with no head. Well, it's a dinosaur. It's still inside of its egg. What's the name of the, uh, dinosaur from the Land Before Time? Sweet Littlefoot? Yeah. A little foot. Just enough space. You know there's like 20 of those booties? Stop watching after... <laughs> I found some good Pokemon in the grass. I think they'll do it for me. Just don't tell me this man just caught some random Pokemon and then just thought he was gonna win. These youngsters, man. I like a Swooper. Yep. Told you. Definitely the Grim Reaper. <laughs> Whoa, it's a cloud type Pokemon. That's our favorite type. A cloud type? <laughs> cloud type. Like ca like cast form. Cast form was well, definitely a cloud type, yes. <laughs> or Thunderous. Or Tornadus. Poor poor more accurate tornadus to say tornadus. You know, these newfangled trios, I don't know much about them. I mean, the GDs were from the generation that, well, these were from the generation that you were, like, that you stopped at. <laughs> what was it, black and white? Yeah. The ones they were that in that the game? Yeah, they were in that game. No, I, I did a bug-only run for that one. Yes, you did. So I only know bug Pokemon from that generation. <laughs> I told if, if, if I use the word Joltik, does that ring any bells to you? Of course. So I had the uh, Galvantula on my team. What about Rona? No, I was not gonna say that because I, I, I knew you would remember that one. Or the Steel one, X X X Goodrill. That is a seal type Pokemon, but it's also from Gen 5, but it's not what you're thinking of. Excavalier. <laughs> Hi, Gordage. I found a useful item shopping, so I bought it with your money. Sorry. It's in your PC. You'll like it. Click. Yeah, if you get the right, money, your mother. mom will start buying stuff for you using your money. Actually, these are Pokemon that are down here. Very problematic stereotype in 2022. How would you like to have this tasty, nutritious snowpoke tail? For you right now, just one million dollars. You'll want this. I want this. <laughs> I thought kids these days were loaded. 
Oh my god, is this trying to sell a, an animal tail to a 10 year old for a million dollars? Yahoo! It's Friday! I'm Frida of Friday! Nice to meet you! Here's a poison barb for you. <laughs> Alright, Frida. A Pokemon that has poison type moves. Oh! It's wicked! You'll be shocked how good it makes poison moves. Yeah, uh, right, on, certain, on certain days, people will be in certain places. <laughs> And they'll give you free items. First time you meet them. Frida of Friday. Also, Slowpoke Tails are a delicacy. In reality. <laughs> this is a great That's fish. That's the first time they ever confirmed that humans eat Pokemon. <laughs> you saw people fishing? How about you? Would you like one of my rods? Nah, that's good to hear. Now nah, you're an angler too. I forgot this guy keeps the old rod. Fishing is great. If there's water, be it the sea or a stream, try out your rod. What should I make my Pokemon hold? Maybe an item that increases attack power. I don't think such a general thing exists yet. <laughs> yeah, what is she talking about? Because I don't think Muscle Band is in this game. Does Muscle Band just flat increase their attack power? It, yeah, it increases the power of physical moves. However, our first usable key item. Sell. Select. Let's see what we find in the water. Magic Carp that looks like the Grim Reaper. God. It's a shelter. <laughs> what in the world is this gonna evolve into? Is it just a piece of coral? It looks like a sword. It looks like a piece of coral. Like Corsola. Oh my gosh. So it's strong against ghosts? <laughs> Sword stance. <laughs> oh my god, what is this thing? <laughs> oh, where are all your swords at now? Ah, oh, she blows. Fortunately, we. Well, I guess we can do this a couple times. So pointless. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I know why I'm doing that, it's just to completely cancel out the sword stance and he doesn't oh, feature. I, I, I know why you're doing it. I think I know what type this is. I think I remember anyway. Well, it's strong against ghosts, so... What is that, dark? I think it's the only steel. thing, right? <laughs> Oh, is no ghost is neutral against steel, isn't it? I don't remember. Go I think ghost is neutral against everything. Some people would say that ghost is the best offensive type. Some people say there are a few most things that are strong most against it. Defensive types, since there's very little things weak against it. They also resist a lot of stuff. Oh, great! Oh, all that for nothing. <laughs> yep. Gotta love those crits. See what else you find. <laughs> Wait, that shelter is probably super rare. Oh, nope, there it is. <laughs> it's also level 10. I just can't wait to find out a magic carp that looks like the Grim Reaper. I kinda expected to find magic carp. I'm not surprised it didn't just appear. Please make it stop. It's not worth it. <laughs> it's 
not worth it. Okay. Oh, we never saw the Pokedex entry for Littlefoot. Oh yeah, we didn't. I totally forgot. I'll try not to forget this time. So it is probably steel. Or I guess wa if it's water, it would be strong against ice. Wouldn't resist uh, ghost though. I'm saying it has to be dark. About to find out. Fighting steel. Fighting. Shelter infested seafloors are dangerous because a misplaced step can earn you a nasty gash. Which we name this sword. Uh. Masamune. It's a little intense for a shelter, but... Let me just do another one, Muramasa. Also, I assume you, also, I assume you chose that name because of Sephiroth. <laughs> it's just... It's, yeah, it was the first sword name that came to mind. The first one that came to mind for me was Excalibur. Well... Yeah, but we were already talking about Excadrill. Excavalier. You, should, you probably should be fighting shelter. But... I just want to see if that's all you find in the water. How does shelter evolve into a cloister? Is it water stone or level? I think it's just level. Whoa! It's kind of cool. I guess it's like an alien. <laughs> uh, well, it's purple, so it looks like they're going with. Or I guess it could be a ghost. They ain't afraid to throw a ghost Pokemon in there. Looks like you're right. Or it could be psychic. Hmm. <laughs> Looks kind of like a goat. Oh. <laughs> it's time to, these, these guys have no chill. Toxic and Swords Dance. <laughs> I'm saying level 10 with Toxic. Who was the famous singer who had a song called Toxic? I know the song and I don't remember who it is. Oh my god. Have you ever heard of Britney Spears? Yep, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yeah, plate. Exactly. Like, I tried, I, I tried to run the lyrics to my head, and the first thing that kept coming to mind was, how would you be so heartless? Like, that's not great. Who like, <laughs> made that song? That's... I almost said Kanye. Is, isn't that, uh... uh... <laughs> Hang on. The, 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 I, I can't remember who I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> he said Kanye. Water and psychic, psychic, not a ghost. Their movements are beautiful, but touching your tentacles will give you a nice sting. The thing weighs a hundred pounds. <laughs> Normal tentacle weighs a hundred uh, pounds. That's insane. Space. It, uh, space jellyfish remind me of Arrival, bro. The movie. Oh, okay. 
I was about to <laughs> put in the actual space jellyfish in the Pokemon universe, but... Who is it? Nihiligo, which is just a extra-dimensional glass jellyfish. <laughs> in Pokemon? Yes. Oh my god. Do you have a name I'm down for, for such a thing, Finn and Rival? No, no. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> if they have a name. There's so many, like, space jellyfish, though, that have to exist. I'm sure there's some from Futurama. Actually, aren't there are space jellyfish in Futurama, aren't there? I don't... Nothing's really coming to mind, actually. I feel like they were at the end. Cirrus Pokemon. Yeah, they are here. It rarely moves much due to its vision being obfuscated. It manages to avoid harm this way. It's also a round type. It's called round? Ground. Oh. Overtoxified. And then this generation, they will absolutely kill your Pokemon. Yep. I think this is the guy we want to talk to. I'm really good at both fishing and Pokemon. I'm not about to lose any kid. Why did you want to talk to this strange man? Uh, yep, this is the guy. You'll realize soon. Big Buff still can't do anything. <laughs> I'm feeling confident about level 9, though. The level 9? That's where it is. Oh, excellent. Uh, Caspar is dead. Caspar will live. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, think, I think we have some berries, actually. Yes, we do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also feeling strong with this level 9, too. <laughs> the heck? Tail Whip. Bring Tail Whip at level 9? That's like a baby move. <laughs> Trying to rush things. Gonna give you his number. Fishing is a lifelong passion. Pokemon are lifelong friends. Don't young people fish anymore? I've seen rare Pokemon while I've been fishing. You young people like that, right? Want to trade phone numbers? I'll let you know if I see anything. Yes, that is why I want to talk to him. It's crazy that I remember the names of a lot of these early uh, trainers that give you their number. Yep, phone if I see rare Pokemon. Weird thing to say. Don't worry, I won't forget. Did uh, you have gold? I... I mean, I think we did have gold. I don't think we ever actually had crystal. I had hard gold. <laughs> I had silver. I don't think... Oh, okay, so yeah, you definitely played it uh, from hard gold. I thought one of the guys here gave you the fishing rod, actually. That was clearly not the case. I guess not if you did it well. Throw Chilquil on front. Oh! <laughs> My Pokemon? Freshly caught! Not Chilquil. I mean, uh, Littlefoot. Oh, I mean, you want to use them against Fisherman? Well, then we can chop in, uh... Bigly buff to finish it. Oh. Well, I guess in this case it wouldn't be too useful anyway. No, just finish it, just finish it, just finish it, just finish it. Oh no, they're fighting steel, so I wouldn't get super effective damage anyway. Oh! <laughs> in this case, a little bit would be useful. Fighting steel. Hey, we know that this shoulder could easily have sword stance already. Steel neutral against uh, electric? Yeah. Steel, steel against <laughs> electric is not very effective. 
But electric against steel is normally effective. Huh. I don't think I knew that. Oh, that rare attack will miss? 95. Percent accuracy, by the way. Nice. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Thunder shock. <laughs> Oh, Igly, this straight clapping these fools. I think Igly buff these friendship to evolve. Small baby Pokemon need friendship to evolve. But not all of them do. Whoa! You made me lose that fish! <laughs> what kind of accent was that? I don't know, dude. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, it's a sea anemone? That's not an anemone. I don't know what you think that looks like. But... <laughs> it's an eel. It, yeah, it's definitely an That's eel. That's so disturbing. And it's ground. <laughs> That's so disturbing. What is? What in the world is Gyarados going to look like? Uh, Slightly horrified, I can tell you that much. Oh my god! That's not a magic carp, dude. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna see one soon enough. You know, good and well what, where we're gonna see it. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm not ready for that moment. And you know, we have to use it because of what it is. <laughs> so it doesn't look like a Grim Reaper. I mean, is is that what your Grim Reaper looks like? I mean, it very well could, to be honest. I'm just gonna speed this up because so much is happening in this battle anyway. Oh, this one's level 15. I was like, why are we doing so little damage? It's a very strong magic card, and it's gonna give you 10 experience anyway. Yeah, I think this will give like 15. There's a crit. Got speed in our sight now. Big time lick. How do you not paralyze it one time? <laughs> you can paralyze ground types, so. This one's level five. Okay. See so if you can do it in three licks. How many licks does it take to get to the center of the magic carp? We are not gonna do it in three licks today that much. <laughs> that magic carp is so disturbing. <laughs> Okay, I must have crit multiple- okay, maybe I'm gonna crit multiple times? I could have sworn that crit did less. Man, miss ready as a click? I don't know, Or, a click? A crit? Sploosh! Dang, he fell in the water. Calm, collected, the essence of Pokemon and fishing is the same. Sploosh! I think with that, we're going to go ahead and call an episode, because we are kind of running long. So, next time, we will properly continue downward, and hopefully... Well, actually, I guess we're going to head into... Not Dark Cave. I don't think it's Rock Tunnel, either. Oh, it's uh, Union Cave. Some right? other Union cave. Cave. Union cave is what it is. See you guys next time. Peace.